Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I want to talk about the Twilight Saga. Yes, I am one of those people that went to the midnight showings. <clears throat> so here's how it actually went down. I actually didn't know that the first Twilight... Sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera. Um... I didn't even know that the first Twilight was even a book. Um, I watched the movie first, and um, I honestly I have to say that I, I really enjoyed the movie. Now, I'm not a big Kristen Stewart fan. So she's the only one that really took the movie down for me. Um, I don't think that she was... I mean, my only criticism really about it was that... I, I really honestly don't think that... Um, her acting was that, that good in the first one. I, I really think that everybody else made up for her lack of acting talent um and i think that that's why the movie really worked actually in a really weird way um so yeah and my favorite scene of the first one is actually the baseball scene um i love the music i loved everything about it um and uh, now, before everyone jumps onto my comment section complaining because vampires don't sparkle and all that business, um, I grew up where vampires only came out during the night and they burn during the daylight and they were scary and they didn't sparkle. Um, this is a completely different take on it. I thought that it was completely original that they're... Uh, that their skin body was more like a made of diamonds more so than anything else and um because that's the only thing i can think of with the glittering and the way that their uh, skin was like because when like during the fight scenes and stuff like their skin would crack but in a really weird glassy kind of way <clears throat> it didn't it wasn't normal so <clears throat> so anyway after uh i watched the first movie um i found out that it was a book series and i immediately went to my school library because i was still in school at that time and, um, you know, I got New Moon. I read that in, like, a day. Um, I, then I got Eclipse. And Eclipse, for some reason, has always, because, like, there's been a factor of different things, but, um, Eclipse has always been the longest that it's taken me to read out of the entire series and and breaking dawn is a hundred pages longer and that's the next book and i can get that book read in like two days but for some reason something always comes up or <clears throat> i don't know it might be because um eclipse goes into a lot of nonsense that i really don't care about i mean the end result, like, because it goes into, like, uh, the history of the shapeshifters, and it would be nice if it was a little bit of history, like, straightforward, you know, tell your audience what happened, how it came to be, but this stuff just dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged, and you're just like, oh, come on, enough already. Um, and I'll actually talk about that later. Um, but, so let's see. Um, 
So I read New Moon. Really, really loved uh, New Moon. It was, it was probably the most depressing of the whole series. Um, but it was really good. Um, and then I read Eclipse. And Eclipse is even better, but I just didn't like all the the shapeshifter history like I, I liked it to a point I should say and then it just dragged on and on and on and it was just nonsense and ridiculous <clears throat> you didn't need to go back 50 million generations about it but um and then Breaking Dawn was by far the best of the series um in my opinion I really, really love that book. <clears throat> and um, so after, you know, I read the books and everything, I obviously... <sighs> Sorry, guys. I obviously uh, went to the midnight showings of each of the following movies, starting with New Moon onwards. And I thought that they did really, really good with New Moon. Um, and I, I really loved their take on Eclipse because they got straight to the point with the whole shapeshifter thing. And they, they got straight to the point with that movie. They didn't waste time going into extensive backstory and backstory and backstory of the backstory of the backstory. Got the hint? Like, it was annoying. The book was annoying when it got to that. But it overall, it was an excellent book. Really, really loved um, Eclipse. Um, and then Breaking Dawn. So... The movie was split into two into two parts. Uh, the first part I liked, um, but I liked Eclipse and even New Moon better than the first Breaking Dawn. Uh, well, no, that's not true. No, I think it's it's on par with Eclipse, I guess. Um, but the second Breaking Dawn was really just crushed the rest of the series. Um, just Breaking Dawn did, or, or yeah, Breaking Dawn Part Two was just incredible. It was um, absolutely amazing, and it really crushed the. I mean. Not to give anything away, but, like, the the third act was wild. It was wild. Um, and I really did love that they, that they threw in chaos in there for a hot minute, but, um, yeah. So then, I went back and I read the first Twilight book, and... <sighs> The Twilight book is so much better than the the Twilight movie. Um, oh, and, and I do want to give Kristen Stewart some props because I know that I couldn't stand her acting in the first one. I think that she was extremely annoying. Um, but I do honestly believe that she did get better with each movie that was done. Um, by the time that Breaking Dawn parts one and two came on, or came out, she, she was on the ball about it, so I will give her credit where credit is due, um, and I think that everyone else was on their A game too. <clears throat> now going back and talking about the Twilight book, the first one, to me, it felt more of a romantic comedy type of book and the movie really romanticized it really to the extreme they made it all gloom and doom and 
I mean, not gloom and doom, but it was more melodramatic, uh, and more about, you know, teeny bopper love, I guess. <clears throat> I laughed way harder in the book, uh, and I, I really do love the book way more than the movie. Um, I think that they, they did a lot better, um, with each movie. Ex aggressively, um, and, and but that's how I felt about the books. I think that each book was, um, so much better than the previous book that came before it, and that's the way that it worked with the movies. I just think that so by the time the gods are breaking down, they were on the ball, but um, I really looking back now. Twilight is not as enjoyable because the book is so much better, but the rest of the the movie series and book series is good. Because, like, the movie didn't drag out the depressing nonsense that happened in the second book. And then the third one didn't drag out the shapeshifter nonsense when it told the history of the back history of, you know... Um, so I really do think that in some ways the books improved, or the movies improved versus the books, and in some ways it came up short from the books. So there was pros and there was cons to the, the, the movie series <clears throat> and the book series. Uh, they both contradicted each other, but... At the end of the day, they were both um, enjoyable, and that's why tw the Twilight Saga was a success. <clears throat> so, um, and I see now that they're releasing on 4K, which I'll be buying them on 4K because I own the whole series on Blu-ray. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the Twilight series, uh, whether you, lo uh, you know, loved it, hated it, you know, thought it was okay. If you read the books, definitely hit me down in the comment section and let me know, um, what you would have loved to see in the movies versus, you know, versus what they, the ultimate end result was. Um, and... Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my page. Okay, guys? Have a great day.